So uh, we have a couple of closing remarks here that I just want to make. I'm, of course, wearing the uh, sunglasses sponsored by Alaska Omega. have to get those sponsor plugs in before the end of the con conference here. Um, first of all, I hope you've enjoyed the agenda that we had put together here. Um, there are a couple of other great uh, conferences and meetings coming up that everybody should know about. If you're interested in diving deeper into the, um, the science side of things in September, uh, ISFAL is holding uh, its uh, biannual symposium in Cape Town, South Africa. I highly recommend that everybody who is interested in diving deeper into the science attend that. It's a great forum for a lot of the young scientists in this field that are up and coming and, and they're going to be the future of research. Uh, and of course, if you're interested in the, uh, the supply, what we consider the supply side, uh, the IFO meeting is always a great meeting. I believe this year it's in Bangkok, um, and it's in the fall as well. I forget which month exactly. But both of those are great meetings that I'd highly recommend attending as well. Um, whoops, I guess I'm supposed to flip to the next slide. Here we go. So as we close this, let's start with who won the iPad. So the first thing, uh, actually, I'm going to have uh, Tiffany Hunenfeld from KD Pharma come up, who sponsored the app. But while she's walking up here, I'm going to announce who got the bonus question, who, who is closest to, to the answer on the bonus question of how long the dinner table was last night. The correct answer is it was 60 meters or 196.85 feet. The closest guess was Fred Bernier from Biodroga. Is Fred here? Uh, he left? Well, he didn't win anything. He, <laughs> he, he got 100 bonus points, which actually put him into second place. So he, was, he is, did not quite get there, but he did get the bonus points. So with that, I'll pass it over to Tiffany to say a few words and reveal the winner. So on behalf of the app sponsor, Katie Pharma, I'm so excited um, to announce the winner. And I want to say thank you for playing, and I hope you all had fun with it. Okay, leaderboard, please. <laughs> Jolie Root, are you here? Where's Jolie? Is Jolie here? Oh, here she comes. I can't see as much with these. <laughs> and Jolie's still posting points. Actually, I'm looking at the leaderboard here, and it looks like uh, Fred might have come into third place, actually, not second place after all. So we'll just take a quick picture here. Jolie, thank you so much. Congratulations. Oh, it's a hundred things. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So Chris has got the picture. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Congratulations, Jolie, and thank you to Katie Pharma. That isn't the most fitting thing I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, so if we can flip back to my slides. Okay, so um, it's amazing. Nobody even cares that there's even a risk that we might be burning to death. Um, okay, let's look at some of the highlights of the, of the conference so far. Well, to me, the, it, by far and away, the highlight of the conference is the content. Uh, this thing doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Um, this is, uh, Chris has been putting together snapshots of some key quotes from some of the speakers, and we've been tweeting them out, and I put them all on one slide here. Um, there's a couple more speakers that we didn't manage to get up here, but uh, uh, the content is really the reason we do this. Again, it is a, the focus of this is learning. Um, I know some of the feedback we get all the time is that people want to network more, but, but this is the reason we do this. We, we put, we're a nonprofit organization. We don't do this to make money off of a conference or to hold a conference and allow networking. We do this because helping the uh, industry and the, the scientific community and the um, regulatory community come together and understand some of these issues helps advance our nonprofit mission, which is to uh, work towards getting intakes up to sufficient levels. Um, and yes, we are industry funded, but uh, that's our mission. It's, a, it's really a public health mission. So we, we try to uh, promote quality uh, as standards and, and get the industry to produce uh, products that are high enough quality that consumers will trust our products. 
uh, and at the same time educate consumers about the benefits of EPA and DHA and try to get them to consume more. So the content is, to me, the, always the best highlight of the go at exchange. And I will leave you again with these seven challenges that the Surgeon General issued to the omega-3 industry in his opening keynote in 2011. Um, I think they are still the challenges we have today, and I think they're still the things we need to work on as an industry. So if you take anything away from this, I hope you will take these back to your companies and say, what can we do to contribute towards these challenges? Of course, there are some fun things that happened at the conference. These are some of the things I've heard. Um, I heard that the Google people are very, very young, uh, and they must think we as an industry are dinosaurs, not because of we're our age, but because of our, of our lack of technical sophistication. But um, I think it is true, and I think this is one of the things we, one of the reasons we asked Google to come is because we want to um, help move the industry forward in the technology arena, leveraging technology to, to educate people. Of course, the, um, whoops, there's some other highlights too. The food, two of the most massive paella pans I've ever seen here. Um, we had plenty of paella left over because apparently I undersold the amount of food that was available at the cocktail reception. But uh, the food was excellent. The, the um, hotel staff does an amazing job here. They, they have uh, great service, and um, I think they, they made some great meals for us. I hope you enjoyed that part of it. Uh, there were, of course, a number of meetings here. You, many of you had business meetings, but uh, this is actually the GoEd Scientific Committee uh, who got together here in person uh, and had a meeting, and I, I think this is a great venue to do this because oftentimes, uh, this is a sad fact, but oftentimes the people on our scientific committee or the people on our technical committee aren't allowed to travel to industry events. Um, so, so when we do have events like this and they have an opportunity to get together in person and put a name to the face, I think it's always valuable. Some of the funnier things I, or some of the things I heard, uh, I shouldn't say all of them are funny. This, uh, some, these are some of the things I heard from multiple people. Um, they're not exact quotes because uh, these are things that many people said and I just summarized them. Um, I was very pleased to hear that the case studies were valuable to a lot of people uh, and that the scientific sessions were valuable. Um, one, a number of people said they were very happy that BASF opened up their internal uh, work, strategic work, and shared it with some of the industry. And I agree, I think the opening sessions we had uh, were, were really top notch. A number of you have asked how do we hire Rohit and Heiss um, because you, you're very impressed with their, their talks and you think they can help some of your customers at your customer events or, or even your own organizations. If you are interested in that, of course, just talk to us and we'll connect you with them. The dinner, of course, was a highlight. Everybody thought that was really unique. And then if, if I hear this question again, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scream. Um, because everybody always asks me this, how old am I? Uh, and I'm not going to tell you unless you guess the correct answer. That's the only time I tell people my correct age. Um, but I will tell you that I am a grandfather. So you, you, if that gives you any hints. <laughs> the dinner, of course, I think was one of the highlights. I mean, today I can't even count the number of people who have walked up to, to me and said that was such a unique venue. Um, they, they, uh, somebody said earlier that they just made this ban banana plantation magical looking, which is pretty hard to do. I mean, it's a farm. Um, but but they, they made it magical. They had this amazing 60-meter-long uh, table that was uh, really um, incredible, and the food was special, and everybody enjoyed the presentation. And, of course, we had the, I don't know what you call it, the wave with the uh, toast of wine glasses all the way down the table. That was something special. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many of you made it, made it down to the sports bar, but I think this resemblance is uncanny. I mean, I can't believe that they made a statue of Phil Calder. But, but the other thing, too, is I don't know how many of you were here on the first couple of nights and went to the bar, but the, uh, the waiter in the bar with his uniform on looked remarkably like Joe Hiblin as well. So if, if, I don't know if he's going to be around tonight, but if he is and you're here, uh, check it out, because uh, really, that's uncanny as well. Uh, we, of course, want to do better at this conference, so we need your feedback. Um, these are some of the things we've already heard, uh, and, and we'll take these back, internalize these. Um, we do, of course, have some conflicting advice. Some people think there's too much science. Some people think there's not enough. 
Um, some people think there's not enough networking time, um, and that's always a conflict in our own team. I want more content and less networking time. Ellen wants uh, more networking time, and, and Harry wants more breaks. So <laughs> we're, we'll work on the agenda here, and we'll continue to work on this and try to optimize it. Of course, we also are interested in your feedback on where we should have the next go at exchange. Um, I will tell you that there is one person who has lobbied very heavily every single go at exchange to have the next event in Olesen, Norway. Um, that's life. I don't know where he is, but uh, he, he, he's around here. So if you have a competing view, you need to make, make your view known to the GoEd board members, because they're the ones who actually choose the, um, the location in the end. I also, one of the things I like that I just want to highlight before I close this out is that um, I like the connections with some of the previous exchanges. Um, we had in Boston a cartoonist that I mentioned in my opening remarks come, Tom Fishburne. Uh, and he, I don't know if you noticed it, but in Rohit's presentation, he had three or four comics from Tom Fishburne in there. So that was a nice little connection that was totally unintentional, but uh, I think it kind of highlights how uh, we try to have a high level of expertise present at this event. Um, another uh, interesting thing is we, there was some talk about uh, school lunch programs and prisons and, and the benefits that incorporating omega-3s into those things might have. Uh, and, and at the last go at exchange in Salt Lake City, there was a gentleman, Joel Claverkamp, who was there trying to raise support for uh, doing just that. He has a nonprofit that he runs that's trying to improve nutrition in those types of environments. Um, he is still working on that, uh, and he's not here today. But if you want to get connected with him, um, Gretchen Van Eyes, where, where's Gretchen? In the back, I can't see you, but so she's somewhere in the back there. Um, she's actually in constant contact with him about this. So, so I think this is another nice connection from exchange to exchange. But if you're interested in contributing to some of that work, uh, then you should talk to Gretchen because she'll put you in touch with him. Or, of course, any of us. This is an interesting little story, an anecdote. This is the, at the Salt Lake City Goat Exchange, we had a little cold weather package, and so we gave everybody gloves. Um, Tom Clow texted me about a month ago and said he was walking through the Rhode Island State Capitol building in, on the east coast of the United States <laughs> and found this Goed Exchange glove on top of the garbage can. It was only one glove. I don't know what happened to the other one, but um, somebody out here, if you're a repeat attendee, threw away your glove. <laughs> Hopefully you won't throw away the Fitbits. Next, uh, one other happy note, uh, Andrea Wong. I don't know where you are, Andrea. Um, but Andrea got engaged here at the Go Ed Exchange. <laughs> so that was nice. Uh, it was obviously a beautiful location and probably a great place to get engaged. And then that, lastly, just want to do some, acknowledge, um, some acknowledgments. Uh, of course, the sponsors are a key part of this. Um, and again, I'm just going to run through these real quick. BASF had a phenomenal uh, uh, opening session, both with Rohit and um, uh, the Consumer Trust session, where they gave us some of their strategic insights on the Omega-3 space. DSM for the Gala Award dinner uh, last night. Um, Golden Omega for the Fitbit health trackers. I hope everybody uh, is using those or going to take them back to some of their loved ones because uh, that's a really generous gift. Golden Omega at the very, or sorry, the second go at exchange also gave everybody tablets. So um, they've set the bar very high. We have high expectations for the next exchange. <laughs> hint, hint. Um, Aqua Biomarine with the Mophi uh, battery supply and the conference Wi Fi. Alaska Omega with the go at exchange videos and, of course, these lovely sunglasses. Uh, Catalent with the Omega-3 profile videos, uh, which are always, I think, a, a kind of a nice way. We, we play them because it gets people in their seats um, and, and calms everybody down before we start the main sessions. But um, we've done a wide variety of these things. We, we had one year where we uh, just went to random consumers on the street and asked them questions, had some great responses. Um, these ones I thought were particularly special because they, we've heard some emotional stories from Randy and uh, Richard. Uh, about some of their experiences in this industry and, and how they've touched their lives personally. Um, marine Ingredients with a closing keynote ad address from Dr. Dyerberg. Uh, Tassa um, sponsoring the cocktail reception. And if you haven't got your, uh, your uh, Pisco Sour Glass, be sure you do on your way out. 
FMC for sponsoring the badge lanyards, and Katie Pharma, of course, for sponsoring the app. Uh, Qualitas uh, and um, their Omega brand for sponsoring the conference gift bags. Mark Gildy for the coffee break. And of course, we had three great uh, pre-conference workshops from Eurofins, Nutrisource, uh, and Omega Veritas and Imperial Oil. And our media partners, who uh, we definitely thank for promoting this event. Um, Nutritional Outlook, Natural Products Insider, Nutraceuticals World, New Hope Natural Media, Nutraceutical Business Review, and NutraIngredients.com. Uh, thank you for your support as well. So, having said that, I was going to thank the GoEd team for all of their work doing this, but Leslie Vandermeulen, who is the chair of the GoEd Board of Directors, asked me not to do that because he wanted to say some comments and do that himself. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he's asking all the GoEd team members to come up on the stage. By the way, it's remarkable how little you can see with these sunglasses on with these lights in your face. Even without sunglasses, you can't see anything. Where are you going, Adam? Stand back there. You can, uh, I don't know if, if anybody else can take a picture if you want to scoot in later. Um, everybody, um, thank you so much for attending this event. You really made it happen on the audience side. Obviously, these people here made it happen on the organizing side. but. Um, I have a little confession to make that um, I've been the chairman for four years, have been on the board for five, and with everything else that's going on in the industry, I have not lost one night of sleep, um, you know, over the attacks, the volume going down, things like that. And there's a simple reason for that. This whole team here protects our industry, um, helps us grow it and does remarkable things like the GOAT exchange. And I think that it needs to be recognized on behalf of myself, on behalf of the board, there are some board members in, in the audience that you guys do um, an amazing job every single day. And you put together this great event, but I definitely want uh, to recognize that without you guys, we wouldn't be here. And of course, we have a lot of uh, esteemed colleagues that help create the science and all those other things, but I wanted to Together with the audience here, thank you so much for everything that you do on a daily basis. Okay, that's enough. You're going to give them a big head. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I do, of course, I think my team's amazing. Um, we, we are very lucky that we get to work with such great individuals who are, are really, truly experts in each of their respective fields. Um, but uh, I should uh, highlight a few people who worked extra hard on this event. Um, Ellen Shutt, of course, arranged and managed the conference uh, and handled almost all of the logistics and everything herself. Uh, this was a great year because I didn't have to worry about any of that. I just had to get up on stage and say things. So she did a great job. Um, Chris ha also put in a number of hours. Chris did all of the Omega-3 profile videos himself, uh, arranged for all of those interviews. Um, he designed these things up here. Um, these are aluminum, actually, um, so we can take them home and put them up in the GoEd office. Um, so he, he's done a lot of work on, on many different aspects of this. Uh, he's, he's really talented, and we're really glad to have him on our team as well. Um, Aldo, Gerard, and, uh, whoops, sorry, got that wrong. Aldo, Gerard, and Harry uh, have uh, put in a lot of time to help uh, find the experts that we bring here. Uh, it, that's one of the questions I, I, I've received a number of times throughout this event is how do we find these people? Um, well, it, it, there's, they're largely the ones that have, have found uh, these individuals, so they've done a great job as well. Um, and the other question I get all the time is how did we find this location? And Gerard was the one who came here first uh, since he lives in Spain and found this particular venue, so uh, you all have him to thank for that as well. Um, and 
And of course, uh, Vanjie and Mike. Um, Mike is our business development director, and Vanjie is our office manager. Uh, they've helped uh, immensely in getting the finances organized to be able to do this. And Mike's been uh, chasing down sponsors and uh, you know selling all the sponsorships. And of course, he's been any of the non-members here. There are a few, I believe, non-members in the audience. He's been hounding you to join GoEd. Uh, so, uh, if you have any, I, I will say this again: we are um, a nonprofit. So, if you do have companies that you think uh, should be in the GoEd membership that are your customers or your suppliers, uh, you know, contact Mike. He'll he'll take care of it. Um, but, anyways, again, thank you very much for attending the GoEd Exchange, and thanks to the GoEd team for putting on such an amazing event.